Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, currently 12.20. We've been online since like 11.45. Um, super slow, a lot of garbage, a lot of bad orders. And I got this one right here. According to Paris, I didn't mean anything special, but I disagree. I think I saw 10 items from Kava, 625. I think it's like less than 2.5 miles. It did prompt me to take a photo of my catering bag. Now that just means that it's over $100, so it doesn't mean that it's gonna be a bigger tip, but you would think. You would think so we got the order picked up it took a while um and actually the lady had to flag me down because i was already about to get in my car she's like oh my god i forgot to give you these other two bags so she gave me more bags so here we are we're only three minutes away less than a mile but the traffic right now insane insane so yeah that's the that's the biggest downside of being in this area is the traffic but hopefully we have a much better day than yesterday yesterday was awful I think we did what 117 dollars something super low so i'm hoping we can do at least 250 today or at least 200 um so yeah anyways let me get this dropped off and we'll see you guys on the next order Alrighty, guys we got the order dropped off and my gut was correct it had a 27 dollar payout not too bad then right away we got this one from chick-fil-a now normally i think i would decline orders like this from chick-fil-a at noon but i had a really good experience last time i was there and it's good cash flow 850 three miles honestly not too bad i'm getting a lot of orders but there's a lot of bad ones out there so when this one came along i'm like you know what let's go ahead and jump on this and i'm not too far away from chick-fil-a anyways we're literally like about to pull in 30 seconds if, if that so i'm hoping that the food is ready um but if it's not then we'll wait for a little bit you know we'll see but I, I'm, I'm not afraid to on a sign obviously but i have a feeling that the food will be ready we'll see you guys back in the dash mobile Alrighty, guys we had the food picked up we were in and out 30 seconds if that and i don't know if i'm just wired differently or people here are just weird but it's 96 degrees and people are eating outside like i want to enjoy my food not like sweat while i'm eating you know i don't know i don't get that i mean maybe that's just me you guys let me know do you guys eat food outside when it's incredibly hot because i want to say that most people don't but then i also see a lot of people doing it so i don't know uh, even in the shade, it's still like uncomfortable. Like when you, when it's like 90, the shade doesn't do anything. You know, it's still hot. But now we have an eight minute drive uh, or 2.1 miles away. It's currently 12.38, so we're doing pretty good. I'm happy, I'm happy with the fact that the order from Kava paid off. Because if, if it hadn't, if, we, if, we all, if all we got was 6.25, that would have been kind of disappointing. But you know, my gut still works 100% of the time although it might not be right all the time but it does work <laughs> anyways let me get this dropped off and we'll see you guys back on the road Alrighty, guys we got the order dropped off it became 975 so now just like that we're sitting 37 dollars in the bag not too bad for two orders in it's 12 45 so we got plenty of time again i want to do at least 200 dollars bare minimum like bare minimum we have to do 200 dollars you know um so hopefully we get more orders it's super hot outside so glad that the last orders have been ready you know the drop-offs have been smooth because i have a feeling that at some point i'm gonna have to wait for someone or like wait for the food and it's gonna slow everything down and it's gonna knock me off my my game and right now i'm like on top of my game at the moment if that makes any sense so anyways we'll see you guys on the next order Alrighty, guys so our third order came from an unlikely merchant right because it's kind of not a weird but it's different to go to a 7-eleven middle of lunch but the order was 750. I want to say it was less than two miles. And this 7-Eleven, I know it's typically fast. So we jumped on that. We picked it up. We dropped it off. No issues there. Then we were driving back here by the Maggianos, and we just picked up our next order here from the Cheesecake Factory, showing like 621, 621, 625. I think it's like two miles, if that. Again, I'm just taking everything that makes sense because it is pretty slow. So whatever comes my way that makes sense, we're gonna take it. So after this, I think we'll be what? I like 50 bucks maybe. So not the greatest, but definitely not as bad as yesterday, I don't think. Let's go. Alrighty guys, for a hot second, I thought we were going back to the same building that I did not want to go to. Um, the one that I went back to twice yesterday. Uh, but no, this is going behind it. Luckily she came out and then, you know, she met me because she didn't leave any instructions on how to get inside. So it worked out perfectly fine. Now we're sitting at 5125, it's currently 205 in the afternoon and it's a little bit slow you know so hopefully hopefully by five we'll be as close as we possibly can be to a hundred dollars hopefully because i don't know man it's been a weird couple of days maybe 
You know what also is? I've been coming out here kind of late. And both days that I've been out here late, I've run into so much traffic just to get into the zone, you know? So I have to do a better job of coming out early. I don't know how early yet, but definitely earlier than what I've been doing. So, yeah. Anyways, let me get back to the Maggiano's area and then we'll see you guys on the next order. Alrighty guys, we just picked up our next order here from Maggiano's. Do you guys see these clouds? It's supposed to storm really, really bad later. And I can see it. I can see it. Um, but anyways, 625, like two miles. I'm just want to... Uh, be active right now. I got a couple of orders from Bloomingdale's, but they were single orders. 1175 going to Maryland, 675 going to Arlington. I'm like, that don't make any sense. The only way those orders make sense is that they, you know, put them in a huge bundle. Other than that, it doesn't make any sense at all. So, yeah. Anyways, we're only two minutes away. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, we got the order dropped off. Just 625. I mean, it is what it is. Two miles, no big deal. Now, I'm getting all this alert saying that it's going to be damaging winds and like, you know, storm alerts and whatnot. But right now, I don't see anything. I'm sure that it's coming because I see the clouds. Um, and I'm hoping that it comes, to be honest, because we need people to order some more food. <laughs> Anyways, we're sitting at 57.50. It's 2.45 in the afternoon. We're not doing so hot. I'm getting an order from McDonald's for 2.25. Yeah, you're not gonna get that McDonald's from me. I'm probably, you probably won't get it from anyone, to, to be honest, not, not, a, not a 225. I think people would keep declining until it goes maybe five bucks, I don't know. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next order. Alrighty guys, we just got our next, I'm gonna call this a banger, regardless of the miles, from Macy's. Paying $78 for deliveries, 60 miles according to them, okay? Now, if you guys were here for the live, I had a three order, Bloomingdale's order uh, was it Bloomingdale's or Macy's I, I forgot which one it was but it was paying $84 going 65 miles we ended up doing 62 miles so my theory is that when it's a lot of orders like you know 10 or 7 or you know a high amount the algorithm or whatever gets confused and, and doesn't track the miles properly when it's less deliveries like three or four the miles tend to be more accurate they're still a little bit off but not not that much so I'm thinking that we're probably gonna drive close to 60 miles. And this seems like a lot, but to be honest, it's been a slow day. I can't pass up on that cash flow. I wish I would've gotten the order like an hour ago because now it's probably gonna take me into like the five o'clock hour, which is now, I don't wanna be anywhere else but here at that time. And unfortunately, unless you know we fly there, we're probably gonna be in Maryland or DC one of the two i think i think i think one of the orders is borderline i forgot i forgot what the map looked like already but i know one is in gray falls and then we're gonna go to maryland so we're doing the great one the great one the gray falls one first and then we're probably gonna head to maryland so i'm really hoping that we can knock these out i mean it's only four so i think uh as long as traffic is you know not too bad but the problem is if you see the clouds it already started raining a little bit and for those five minutes it was like you know, I felt like I was in the day after tomorrow. If you guys have seen that movie, it was just like chaotic everywhere. So I'm really hoping we can get these out of the way as fast as possible. On the bright side though, or at least one of the mini bright sides, according to Para, it's gonna be like 84 bucks, but there's no star, so I don't know. They were right one time and they were off the second time, but both times the order ended up being more than what was said from DoorDash, you know? So if we get more than 78 bucks, hey, we'll take it, you know? Um, but I think regardless, we're still gonna do over a dollar per mile, you know? Um, I'm just happy that we got something with a nice cash flow. Cause you know, as much as I love doing 625 or two miles, 78 bucks is a, lot, is a hell of a lot nicer. So I'm just hoping that, uh, you know, the miles are not as high, but we are tracking them like always. So we'll see what happens at the end and we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, we got the first order dropped off. Ended up paying like 20 bucks, $21 I think. And now the next one, is 21 miles or an hour and one minute an hour and one minute away <sighs> going all the way to uh potomac maryland so by the time i get there it's going to be 456 so i don't think we're going to be back in my zone until like 6 30 if that so i might have shot myself in the foot with this order but i don't think so i think regardless the cash flow was great and it's paying a little bit more i think than what it was shown um but yeah so i'm just hoping that the bad weather doesn't catch us you know especially in, especially in the bridge the bridge between maryland and virginia that bridge there's traffic there regardless then you add bad weather bad drivers it's gonna be even worse so i'm really hoping that by the time we're crossing it 
it's not even raining. If it's not raining, it'll be okay. It might not be, you know, the best, but it'll be okay. But yeah, so we're super far away. Even though it's only 21 miles, it's gonna take me an hour. So yeah, so we'll see you guys soon. Let's go. Alrighty guys, I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. You, ever, you guys remember that scene in Jurassic Park when they're like driving in the rain or whatever? That's what I feel like right now. Uh, we're still 44 minutes away. We're gonna give you a quick little update here. Uh, rain's starting to calm down, which is not good. So I got a feeling by the time we make it to the bridge, which we're nowhere near yet, it's gonna be pretty bad. It's gonna be pretty bad. So I think it's gonna take us an extra 15 to 20 minutes to uh, even get you know this dropped off. So kind of regretting it, but at the same time, I feel like I'm, you know I feel like I'm acting and doing something. So that's the main goal. <laughs> Because I feel like if not, I would have been just parked waiting for a decent order where this one was a decent order, so why not? So anyways, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update here. We're still far. It's only 4.14. And as you guys can see, it's getting darker. It's raining. It's definitely going to be a fun drive back for sure. Hopefully, the rain just stops. I think it's supposed to rain the entire night though, so... Uh, that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, quick update. We're still making our way to do the second drop off. We're 32 minutes away or 7.2 miles. I've actually added, like I believe, 20 more minutes to my time. And you know what the crazy part is? This was supposed to be delivered by 4.32. It's 4.39 right now. And I'm not gonna be there until 5.12. I better not get a contract violation or I'm gonna lose my marbles. But anyways, as you can see here, plus, plus 27 minutes because of the traffic. Can you guys see that? Look at this traffic, look at the rain. I totally regret doing this because of the weather because it was gonna bring out more traffic. And I mean, justifiably so, look, look, look at it. Look at it, the sky is falling. On the bright side though, you know, I'm sure the customer is gonna get their package relatively soon. It's a, it's a pillow. It's literally a pillow. <laughs> what a day. You know what, I'm not even mad. I can just laugh at this. This is laughable. On the bright side though, we're gonna get almost 80 bucks out of this, if not more. So hopefully we'll see you guys after we drop this off. Hopefully. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we're still making our way over here. We're not even in Maryland yet. That's the sad part, we're not even in Maryland yet. As you can see, there is traffic, <laughs> like really bad traffic. Uh, we're 22 minutes away or 6.9 miles from our destination. We're gonna be extremely late. I mean, even even without the traffic, we, were not, we weren't gonna make it. So I, I shouldn't get penalized for this, but we'll see what happens. As you guys can see, all this lovely traffic here. We haven't even hit the bridge yet. We haven't even hit the bridge. So yeah, <laughs> definitely. If this order would have came an hour before, it would have been it would have been love. It would have been perfect. We would have knocked it out. They would have gotten their packages on time. So I don't know why they didn't batch it earlier. Because earlier in the day, I did get a couple of orders from from Macy's, but they were just on their own. Is there an accident here? Or I guess people are just pulled over to the side. I don't know. Um, Oh my god, this is the most that I've moved in forever. Like this, me going like 20 miles an hour, that's the fastest I've gone in forever. Because it's been bumper to bumper for a while. On the bright side though, because I knew this might happen when I went to Macy's, I went to the bathroom. So we didn't want to, I didn't want to have any more of those type of days. Can you imagine if I was in this traffic, I needed to go to the bathroom really bad, I would lose my mind. I would, I would just be like, you know what, I'm pulling over, I'm just gonna go to the side of the road, whatever, you know. Um, but we're moving, we're moving. I'm gonna have to switch lanes eventually because I, the lane that I'm in turns into an exit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be that guy that's gonna ride it as long as possible and then switch lanes. <laughs> so yeah, so hopefully on the next update, we'll be in Maryland and then we'll be doing the next order. Let's go. Hey guys, we're still making our way. We're on the bridge right now and it's moving. But look at the other side of the bridge going back into Virginia. It's also full of traffic. I have a feeling that it's actually gonna work out okay because after we drop, all the orders off, the traffic should die down by then, in theory, in theory. So I could totally be wrong, I could totally be wrong, but I'm thinking that's what's gonna happen, I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen, because if that's not the case, then this might be our last order of the day, and I don't want it to be that way, you know? We should be back 
even with this time frame, the latest in Tyson's, I would say, is 6.30, I think. Any, anything later than that, and this will slowly become an L, but I still think that it's a W for now, for now. Anyways, we're, we're officially in Maryland. We passed the bridge. Now we're 13 minutes away or 5.3 miles. A little more decent, right, than being 20-something minutes away for only like seven or eight miles. So on the bright side, traffic is flowing a little bit better. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, we got the second order dropped off. When I got there, there was no covering for the package for the pillow, but I mean, it does have a plastic bag and then the actual plastic around it. I called the customer, no answer. Send her a text, I was like, hey, you know, I'm here. Maybe you wanna, you know, get it from me. No answer, so you know what, we dropped it off. I tried to, you know, put it as close to the door as possible so that it wouldn't get as wet. Um, but yeah, anyways, now we're going to the third one. That one is not that far away, 12 minutes or 4.2 miles. If you guys can see, it's still freaking raining, it's pretty hard out. Um, but yeah, so now after this, we'll have just two packages left. It's only 5.23. So I still think that we can be back by 6.30 in Tyson's, if not earlier, hopefully earlier. Let me get this dropped off and then we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, we got the third one dropped off. Woo! Definitely started raining harder as I was getting to the drop off. Luckily they have like a, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a door before the actual door. So we dropped that off there. Now we're making our way to the last drop off. It's 29 minutes away, 7.1 miles. So we're gonna finish around 6.05 and then it'll probably take me 25 minutes to get back near Tyson. So I think my original estimate of 6.30 is probably pretty accurate. Um, I'm just glad that it's kind of slowing down, but not really. And this one is going to Tacoma Park. Ooh, Tacoma Park. I haven't been there in a while. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm completely soaked. Some of the dash movie is completely soaked, but that's all right. It's gonna happen. Luckily, it's just water, although my headphone, my little case did get a little bit wet, but I think it'll be okay. It's basically chilling next to all the little parking stuff that I've ever gotten. So, you know, the, the paper can absorb the water, whatever. Anyways, I still think the order, the order was worth it because of the cash flow. I mean, right now we are sitting at $119.75 and this one is paying uh, $15.75, so we'll see. So I think we're gonna be around $135, give or take. Not too bad, not too bad, considering the slow day we, we've had, you know? So anyways, let me get this dropped off and then we'll see you guys back in the dashmobile. Alrighty guys, we got all the orders dropped off. We're making our way back here to Virginia. Traffic is not bad. We're gonna be there around 6.45. I mean like the Maggianos, but my area around 6.30. So basically uh, the last drop off was the hardest. Meaning that lady, she had to sign and she wasn't home. So, and there was no option to put like, oh, can't hand it to the customer or nothing like that. She's like, oh, five minutes down the road. And I mean, she was five minutes, like she didn't, I didn't wait that long. But I was like, what if she was like, I don't know, 25 minutes, am I supposed to just wait for her? Like the fact that I couldn't, it didn't give me the option to like say, hey, I can't hand it to the customer. I was like, what? You know? Um, but in the end, we dropped it off. We made 78 bucks, like it said. And we did, let me look at the miles here real quick. Uh, 48 miles, we did 48 miles. So what, the order showed, it showed itself at 60 miles, right? We did only 48 miles. Uh, now we're driving back, so with the drive back, it's probably gonna be closer to 60. But overall, not bad. I really wish it wouldn't have been raining, but you know, it is what it is. Right now, it's 620. So we're basically almost back into my zone. Um, so hopefully we can squeeze in maybe one or two more orders and get to 150. I don't know. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next order. Alrighty guys, everything was going so well and then I don't know what happened, must have been an accident, but traffic got super bad and added an additional 16 minutes to this order. You know what I just realized? The, the area that I was in in Bethesda had a 550 peak pay. But I mean, it doesn't make sense to stay over there because it's so far away from where I need to be. But a 550 peak pay, I haven't seen a peak pay that, that high um, in a long time. And, and it was snowing when that was happening. Right now it's just raining. Anyways, Tyson has a 150 peak pay, so once we get back, we're not taking anything lower than 775. Assuming we can even get back and do another order, because this traffic is horrendous. Um, so yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little quick little update. So far, I'm still glad that I took the order, because you know, we're over the $100 threshold, and we're, we're, at, we're around 140, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 135. So we should be able to do, hopefully, at least 150. 
Uh, definitely a rougher start to the month of June than, than what I would have liked. But it is what it is. Tomorrow we're coming out bright and early so this doesn't happen because I'm tired of having crappy days. So yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, so we made it back to the zone here by the Maggianos. We were parked, we were chilling, ready to go. And then my app started glitching. I would get an order and I couldn't see the miles. The map wouldn't load, nothing, right? So I, I think I missed out on at least one or two bangers simply because I wasn't sure how far they were going. If anything, I was relying on Para telling me that it was gonna take me, you know, like a 40 minute drive time, 50 minute drive time, you know? I was like, what the heck is this, you know? And then this order came along and I simply went off the fact that it needed to be delivered by, I think like 7.15 and I got it at seven o'clock or whatever. And then on the fact that it had a low driving time on Para. So I don't know what's up with my app. Is your guys' app messing up? My app is being all weird right now. Uh, even to pull out the navigation, it wouldn't load. I had to like foreclose it like a bunch of times. But we have a five minute drive for 1.8 miles. Not too bad, at least 825. There is a dollar fifty peak pay in my area. Meaning the lowest amount we would take would be 775. Now, if you can drop this off fast enough, I think I might be able to do one more order, which is what I want to do to at least get to 150. But it all depends because, you know, here one mile could take you 10 minutes. So we'll see what happens. But uh, overall, I'm glad that I took the order for the 78 bucks. Oh, speaking of that, when I drove back, I looked at the miles. We drove 62 miles. I mean, overall, they were quoting me 60 miles just on the drop offs alone. So not too bad. I mean, a little bit high, I guess. But the fact that we used up all of the slow times was a, is a plus. I just would have liked to have gotten the order an hour before or 30 minutes before. It would have made a huge difference with the traffic. But, you know, out of my hands, it is what it is. But from the bright side, you know, it was $78 in cash. How could you argue with that? You know, the weather, it is what it is. It's going to happen, you know. But, yeah, definitely tired, though, man. That bumper to bumper traffic is no joke. It's annoying. Although we're still doing great with the uh, mileage. We're averaging 43 miles per gallon. Great. Um, but yeah, weird day. It's a weird Thursday. We had a weird Wednesday. Weird June. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, let me get this dropped off and hopefully we can do one more. Let's go. Guys, we're still making our way over here, but I don't know what happened. Some kind of accident. I see cops. I think I see a tow truck. Oh, no, 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 just the cop has different kinds of lights. Uh, but definitely a good thing this didn't happen. Ooh, wow, wow, that's pretty bad. I wonder what happened. It, it, you know, it looks like a single car. So uh, I wonder how they did that. I mean, I'm guessing when it was raining, but if you saw, I don't know if you guys could see it. I'm, I'm hoping that you guys could have seen it. If not, I'm gonna see if I can tweak the footage so you guys can see it. Um, but the van was like on the guardrail, but by itself, I didn't see any other cars or anything. So that's crazy. Anyways, we're two minutes away, and you know what? You know what I just realized? I updated my DoorDash app right now, um, so maybe that'll fix my issue. But it also changed the font on my maps. Like I can see, it has like a little outline now. I mean, no big deal, but I could definitely see that it's it's different. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with the app. It's really acting up right now. The fact that it won't load the maps or the miles, like at least give me the map or the miles, one of the two, you know but not take both. <laughs> Jeez, hopefully the app gets, its, gets you know, fixed or whatever, because that's not cool. And hopefully they bring back the, uh, you know, one click decline thing, because having to hit a reason for declining again is so stupid. Like, I don't understand why they're going back to this, you know? Anyways, let me get this dropped off and hopefully we'll do one more. Alrighty guys, we were heading back after doing the last drop off and look at this banger that we got here from Maggiano's. According to Para, it's gonna be, I think, like 30 something bucks for the tip. Uh, it is saying a catering bag is required. And it loaded, it loaded right away, no issue. So maybe I needed to update the app, I don't know. Um, but we're only three minutes away. Now, I'm hoping that we can get this dropped off sooner because it's kind of going out of the way a little bit. And I don't wanna be late to work, but at the same time, I can be late a few minutes if I'm gonna make 30 more dollars, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully the food is ready when we get to my Giannos. And I'm hyped. Just like that, we're going to finish, assuming they're correct, at least in the 170s, if not even higher. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. We got the order dropped off. I couldn't really say anything when I picked it up. I was on the phone. Three people called out of work. So, you know, that's always fun. Um, but basically, the food wasn't ready, but they were packing it up when I got there. So I was like, no problem. So, you know, she gave me these huge bags 
Um, we, weren't, we weren't that far away, which is the best part. And they had a $44 tip, just like Para was saying. So now we're gonna finish the day here at $189. $189. Who would've thought? Not me. Definitely an hour ago, I would've been like, there's no way, you know? Um, but we just got lucky. Really, all there is to it is we got lucky. Uh, it all worked out, you know, by me taking that blind order from the Cheesecake Factory, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. But at least we basically salvaged this day, you know? I think everything worked out as it should. We didn't do 200, but being $11 away from 200 isn't bad. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know there's lots of rain in the video and hopefully you guys can see okay. I actually tried to clean my windshield because I think the camera has great quality. I think my windshield was just dirty. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for coming along on today's dash. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, subscribe, peace.